hello, my name is john ritterbush and i'm the director of library services and learning commons at park university this brief video demonstration will offer an overview of how to use films on demand one of the library's streaming video databases uh, in incorporating this content within a park university course particularly within the canvas learning management system so the question often comes up what exactly is films on demand well, Films on Demand is an online collection of 20,000 plus educational or documentary videos available 24-7 uh, uh, through a platform, Films on Demand, accessible from the library's website. And this video will demonstrate how to access those uh, videos as well as how to incorporate those videos uh, within a Canvas uh, course page. All of the videos in Films on Demand allow for unlimited simultaneous viewing meaning an entire class could be viewing the same video at the same time uh, from anywhere in the world. Films on Demand also features a very easy to use interface uh, with some features uh, similar to that of YouTube in terms of the uh, playback ability, but it also includes a number of accessibility features including closed captioning, variable playback speeds, and searchable transcripts. For this demonstration I've opened my web browser to Park University Library's webpage at www.park.edu slash library. And from the library's homepage, uh, it is possible to search films on demand videos from Pirate Search, which is uh, our main article database. Uh, however, I find that the best results often come if you go directly to the films on demand interface. The way to access Films on Demand that I would recommend would be to click on the Databases link from the library's homepage. And that pulls up the complete A to Z list of all of the databases that the library currently receives. And you could use the alphabetical links here at the top, for example, the letter F uh, to zero in on Films on Demand. And by clicking on its title, will then be taken to the uh, Films on Demand homepage. If I were accessing this database from off campus, I would first be prompted to enter my park ID number and password. That's the only difference here. But here on the Films on Demand homepage, uh, I'm presented with uh, several uh, groupings of videos, including the most popular videos being viewed among uh, park users, uh, videos that have been recently added to the collection, I also have the ability to browse by subject area, and this may be of particular interest to our instructors. Uh, you can click on View All to view all of the uh, subject groupings here and get a sense for how many videos are represented uh, in each of these subject disciplines. So for example, Business and Economics has over 2,500 titles, Criminal Justice and Law over 1,000 titles, uh, Health and Medicine more than 3,000 titles, and so on. So you could click on any of these tiles by subject area and browse uh, a list of those uh, videos. And as the results screen comes up, uh, you'll also see here uh, that these are sorted by newest to oldest. What are some of the newest videos being added to the collection and in the business grouping here? Uh, there's a 2017 HBO uh, video that happens to be about 90 minutes long. Uh, about Warren Buffett that's uh, featured here as recently added and on down the screen it goes uh, a number of 2016 videos uh, shown here and these represent a wide variety of publishers I'm, I'm seeing HBO the Australian Broadcasting Corporation ABC News Films for the Humanities uh, BBC would be some other uh, primary publishers that are represented in films on demand on the right side of the screen are a number of filters that I could use if I want to narrow down my uh, search for uh, videos by a particular subtopic uh, within business and economics. So if I want to look at ethics and business law, for example, I could click this link and uh, narrow down my results from the 2,500 or so to uh, a smaller number of videos that are more uh, specific to that particular topic. I could also narrow down my search by particular uh, producers uh, if I wanted to look at just documentary videos versus educational videos uh, I could do that as well I could even uh, filter my results by language or by copyright date uh, as I look down the uh, filter options here on the right side of the page 
Each one of these videos, uh, and I'll click on one here on Ethics and Leadership Essentials, I want to uh, just call to your attention several accessibility and sharing features that are built into each of these videos uh, within Films on Demand. Uh, notice, of course, I have my playback and volume control similar to YouTube videos, but also uh, next to the, uh, the player screen are my options for closed captioning. I also have a playback speed option whereby I could slow down or actually speed up uh, the rate at which a video is played as well as my options to uh, expand uh, to a theater view or even to a full screen view uh, if I should so choose. Beneath the title of the video segment I'm viewing are a number of other uh, sharing options available to me including a share uh, button by which I could email a, a link to this video uh, to myself or to, uh, to someone else as well as uh, uh, links to social media tools for sharing uh, a video link. Do keep in mind, however, again, any links that are shared uh, would only be usable off campus uh, for park affiliated students or employees. So uh, do keep that in mind. There are other tools available here, including a citation tool uh, to grab an APA or MLA uh, formatted citation for the video, uh, tools for uh, actually customizing specific segments, uh, as well as adding to a playlist. But the other link I want to really emphasize in this short demonstration is the uh, embed link option here. Uh, by clicking on that, I can very quickly grab uh, a URL that will uh, work for all of Park's uh, students and employees. I can copy and paste this link into a Canvas course page, into an email message, or in some other document. And that link uh, would take a Park user uh, directly right back to this a specific video uh, title uh, without having to go through the, uh, the search or browse screens. Other features that are available within uh, virtually all of the films on demand titles uh, include a searchable transcript feature uh, where uh, you could do a keyword search on a, a particular word and have those words uh, be highlighted within the transcript if I want to jump ahead to a particular uh, point where uh, that word is maybe referenced, uh, I could do that just by clicking on that term and the video will automatically jump ahead uh, to that point where that particular word is, uh, is referenced and I could start playing from there. So a number of wonderful usability and accessibility features are built into Films on Demand. As I demonstrated a few moments ago, there is uh, the option to copy and paste a link that is unique to a specific Films on Demand video uh, and then share that link in a number of different ways. But I also wanted to demonstrate a method for embedding a Films on Demand video within a Canvas course page, discussion, or assignment. And you'll see here I'm already logged into a uh, Canvas page uh, and course, and I'm a uh, about to set up a discussion forum here related to uh, a Films on Demand video. I've got my toolbar here which includes a couple of buttons for YouTube and next to that YouTube icon is an, is, is an arrow uh, and if I hover over that it says more external tools. If I click on that arrow you'll see that one of those options includes Films on Demand. By clicking on that option I will get a search screen that comes up here in a moment. And from this search screen, I can now uh, do a search on, we'll say, business ethics again. Now, I could filter this by subject, or I could resort by uh, newest to oldest, for example, uh, if I wanted to look at uh, the most recent videos. In fact, here's that 2016 video I was looking at just a moment ago. And now to embed that within my Canvas page, all I need to do is click on uh, the blue embed button. If I wanted to preview it, I could do that as well before making that choice. And now a placeholder has been inserted within my discussion posting here uh, that saves the space for that uh, Films on Demand title. And if I go to Save and Publish, once I've published uh, this particular posting, you'll see that the video segment uh, occupies that, that small space here. I've got all of my player controls available, including volume, closed captioning, 
uh, playback speed and so forth, the option to switch to a full screen view. All of those options are available to me. I do not have all of the same sharing options that I would if I were to go to the full Films on Demand website. So that may be an advantage of using the hyperlink method. If you want your students to also have the sharing tools, uh, the citation tools, and so forth, uh, that would be an advantage for using a link rather than this embedding option. But if your main concern is to only have students maybe view a, a relatively brief uh, video of just a few minutes and then uh, perhaps comment or give feedback on it, uh, then the embed option is perhaps a, a better uh, option for you to, uh, to use. This concludes this video demonstration of Films on Demand. If you have additional questions, please contact the library at 816-584-6285, or you could email the library at library at park.edu, and we would be more than happy to assist you in using Films on Demand uh, within your course preparations. Thank you very much for your time and attention.